Hey DIYers, what's going on? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, we're talking WeatherTech products today. I have never ever personally purchased WeatherTech products. I am a first time buyer. And in today's video, we're going to open up the boxes that just arrived and install them in my 2022 Toyota Corolla. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers outside now and in front of us right here is our gray 1999 Toyota Camry and it is officially retired. Insurance is off. We are going to prepare this car for the demolition derby and that is going to be a fun project. We will have a video series on how to prepare a vehicle for a demolition derby. And scrolling above right now is a link that will take you to that series. And we again are retiring our 99 Toyota Camry and we have purchased a brand new Toyota Corolla. And there is the WeatherTech boxes. I have never purchased WeatherTech products. However, we're going to bring the Corolla out of the garage and open up the WeatherTech boxes and see what the floor mats look like and how they perform. Now to a close up of the boxes or packaging that the products arrived in as shown here. And from the date of purchase until the arrival of the products was about three days, pretty impressive. And again, we purchased the front driver side and passenger side floor mats, as well as the rear seat floor mat and the trunk mat. And what I'm going to do now is open up the garage, start the car, pull the car out for better lighting and open those boxes. Again, we have never purchased WeatherTech products, so we're gonna see what they're like and how they perform. And check this out, just to the side of our brand new Corolla is our 1991 Chevy Cavalier Z24 and we're gonna rebuild it. And right now it's on casters and down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be a link on little casters. And I can basically move this car by hand, just one person. And I'm not a strong guy. Let me come back to the back just to give you kind of a better view of what they look like again. They're sitting on the casters and each caster unit has four wheels or casters. And again, I can move the entire Z24 by hand. And we're going to start up the Corolla, pull it out. All right, DIYers, I've got the Corolla pulled out of the garage. Again, a 2022 Toyota Corolla. We are just shy of opening up the boxes, pulling the floor mats out, seeing how they look, how they feel, how they fit, and how they perform in our new car. Cargo liner is unpackaged, as you see here. We will continue unpackaging that box. And here it is, everything is unpackaged in DIYs. All I'm going to do from here is open up the doors and install the liners, as well as in the trunk. And close up view of everything. This is the rear seat liner. Not bad, pretty nice. It even comes with a product catalog. And again, they market these liners as laser reading or red fit. So we're gonna see how they fit. Driver's side door is open and you got these little holes here. And coming inside here, when you install the mat or liner, all you have to do is turn these and rest the new liner in place and you can lock it in place with these little twist tabs. Now it will be personal preference whether or not you keep your original liner or floor mat installed. In our case, we are going to do that or you can take them out and store them somewhere, but we really don't have anywhere to store them over the course of the life of owning the vehicle. To an update, the brand new floor mat is installed or laid in place in the driver's side and it is a tight fit and they were not kidding and it hugs every corner and surface. As shown here, very impressed. It is not loose, it's not gonna slide all over the place when you're driving. One thing I did notice though, the little locks that we were just talking about in the event that you choose to keep your original floor mat installed for over the years, it won't actually allow you to lock the new liner in place. But in our case, that's okay because again, it's such a firm fit it's not gonna move. I'm very impressed and I've only installed this one. Here we are to the passenger side and no joke DIYers, solid 
secure and firm fit of the floor liner to the mold of the vehicle. And again, I am very impressed. Very impressed. What we'll do now is install the liner in the back seat. Back to the driver's side. And again, there is the rear seat floor mat or liner. And what I recommend is pull your front seats forward. Give you better clearance and access to properly align and lower in place that floor mat and liner without damaging anything. Now to an update. Again, a solid firm fit DIYers right here and back here. It's so firm and tight that it's basically acting as if it could possibly create a watertight seal in between here and there. I am impressed, no joke. Again, how these are properly laser measured. They're not kidding. Look at that. Very firm around every turn. I like it. Now to the trunk. All right, DIYers to the back of the car and in the event that you've owned your car for a while and been driving it, you can vacuum up the entire existing floor mat both in the trunk as well as inside the car before you lay your brand new mat and liner in place. But again, that's personal preference. And here it is. Brand new liner is installed. And check that out. Again, hugs every turn pretty nicely and firmly. Waterproof trunk. How cool. I'll be honest, I'm very impressed. Again, weather tech took three days to get here. That is nice. Look at that. All right, DIYers, taking a step back. I've got the engine running, warming up the vehicle, and liners are all installed. And I will be honest, I was going to give you an update here in about two months just to give you a heads up on how the liners perform, but I think that's pointless. Really, no joke. These liners are perfect. And I can tell right from the get-go, I am very impressed, as I've mentioned in this video a few times. No need for an additional update. They're gonna be perfect for a very long time. Basically, the life of this vehicle. And when it comes time to cleaning them, when they get dirty, you can just pull them out and hose them and wipe them down. How cool is that? Really no vacuuming needed, which is an awesome alternative and change to the traditional floor mats inside there that are basically carpet and requiring aggressive vacuuming. So again, I am very impressed. No need to give you any additional updates. These are going to work great. The hours we hope this helps. Hey, do us a favor, below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And again, if you're interested, that will be a demolition derby. Probably not going to be the same color. It's definitely not going to have any headlights or windows or much of anything. Only the driver's seat will be installed. We're excited to start that project. Corolla's back in the garage. I do want to show you these little casters one last time. These are awesome. I'm not a strong dude, but I can move this car very easily by myself. And the wheels just rest on the little plates as shown there. And long story short, the engine needs to be replaced. I can't actually start it and move it, but I can move it by hand because of those casters.